Hi, I'm Carl from Apt, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a closer look at the CU7000 series LED TV from Samsung. If you're in the market for a budget-minded TV for your family room, office, or bedroom, you're going to want to stick around. The CU7000 series is the starting point for Samsung's LED lineup for 2023, and it offers a lot for the money. Starting off with the design, this incorporates what Samsung calls its slim look design, which is about two and a half inches deep. If it's going on a stand, it won't really make much of a difference, but if you're putting it on the wall, it can cause it to stick out a little further than some of their other models, like the CU8000, for example, which is only about an inch deep. So if your plan is to get the most streamlined look, you'll probably wanna keep this in mind when you're checking out these TVs. Then you have the pedestal, which consists of two wide set feet that are not adjustable, but do a good job holding the TV in place. And for the remote, you get the older style one, so there's a full number pad on it, and it still has shortcut buttons for apps like Netflix and Prime Video, but there's no solar panel for charging, so you will need to replace the AAA batteries that come with it at some point in the future. As far as available sizes go, you can choose from as small as 43 inches all the way up to 85 inches, and prices are going to range from about $380 up to $1,300. So this is a very reasonably priced series, but if you want to see our most current prices, be sure to click the links down in the description or give our TV experts a call here at the store. Moving to the back of the TV, we've got all the connections. On the CU7000, you get three HDMIs with number two also having the audio return channel. Then there's a single USB type A, an ethernet port, an optical audio output, and an antenna connection. For wireless connections, you get Bluetooth, which you can use to connect accessories like wireless headphones or a keyboard, and Wi-Fi for use with all the built-in smart features like Netflix, Hulu, or Prime Video. For the operating system, you get the Samsung Smart TV Hub powered by Tizen, which they revamped in 2022 to give you a full screen experience. It's nice because you get a lot more information on the screen, which is gonna make it easier to find all your favorite content. There is an ad that's gonna show up at the top, which is something that you're gonna see on most TVs now. And under that, you'll see a row of apps that you can arrange in order to make it easier to find your favorites. Then under that, you'll see your recently watched content, what's on now. And finally, you can scroll down through a list of curated content that's categorized by different genres, so you don't have to dig through all your apps to find something to watch. Samsung TVs also come with an app called TV Plus, which is a compilation of streaming TV stations that you can watch for free, which is gonna be great for any cord cutters out there. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll also see a search option that allows you to search for particular content across all your apps. Game Hub, which is where you'll find game streaming apps like Utomic and Nvidia Now. And finally, there's the settings menu where you can make adjustments to the picture, sound, and network settings. Moving on, we've got the audio. The CU7000 gets a two-channel system driven by 20 watts of power. The quality of the sound is okay, but not great. If you're using the TV for news or sports, you'll be fine, but if you're gonna be watching movies or playing video games, you will probably wanna look into adding a sound bar. I'll put a link to one that matches up really well with this TV down in the description, or you can give our audio experts a call for help finding one that's gonna work well with your budget. Plus, they'll also be able to tell you about any promotions that we have going on that we can't advertise online. Now let's take a look at the picture. Like I mentioned earlier, the CU7000 is Samsung's entry-level TV for 2023, so don't go into it expecting a QLED quality image. However, for a budget TV, this one is pretty good. Once you get it all set up, you will want to go through the picture preset modes to see which one looks the best to your eye. We typically find the movie mode to provide the best quality picture without having to make any extra adjustments, although you can still do that if you choose for a more fine-tuned experience. The colors in HDR and SDR content look natural and the black levels provide good contrast for a budget TV. It doesn't get as bright as the models above it in Samsung's lineup, but unless you have direct sunlight shining on the screen, you really shouldn't have any problem enjoying the picture, even in a brightly lit room. The motion handling is good enough for watching sports and action movies, and casual gamers are going to find the CU7000 to work just fine. If you're a more competitive gamer, though, you'll want to probably look into the Q70 or Q80C series, as those give you next-gen gaming features like variable refresh rates, 4K at 120Hz support, and Samsung's Game Bar menu that make gaming on a PS5 or an Xbox Series X console just a better overall experience. 
This is gonna be a really nice option for someone looking at a TV for a bedroom or office, or if you're looking to get a budget big screen for your home theater. If you wanna learn more about the CU7000 series or you have questions on which TV might work best for your needs, be sure to contact one of our TV experts here at the store. We're available seven days a week and we're always happy to help. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the great electronics and appliances that we carry right here at App. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one.